price we pay was released onto streaming services and on demand just a couple of weeks ago. It stars Gigi Sambato, Stephen Dorff, Emil Hirsch, as well as Vernon Wells. And uh, this is one I've actually been mildly anticipating for a bit now. Um, I'm a big fan of Stephen Dorff, and uh, the more tidbits I heard about this movie, the more I was actually kind of interested. Um, it seemed like an interesting mix, a potentially awesome mix of genres, you know, kind of crime thriller kind of uh, turns into like a, you know, maybe some kind of horror flick. Um, I think it's best if you know as little about this movie um, as possible, because even I knew like the bare minimum, because essentially Emil Hirsch and uh, Stephen Dorff are sort of at least partners on a certain job anyway, they end up robbing a... Uh, and robbing a store, I think it is, and, uh, you know, Emil Hirsch is a little trigger-happy, a little more reckless, and he ends up causing more of a scene than, you know, anticipated. They end up taking uh, Gigi's character hostage, and they end up on this farmhouse to hold out. And I'll just say there's, you know, just something there, something going on there, and it sort of uh, creates a problem for everybody. And, uh, yeah, it gets actually pretty, uh, you know, carnage, carnage candy heavy. Um... So, yeah, uh, I thought it was pretty decent overall. I mean, you could definitely tell they're on a budget. Um, but, I mean, Emil Hirsch is always, you know, pretty fun and consistent acting-wise and everything. Like I said, I love Steven Dorff. He's always extremely believable and, you know, sort of uh, able to pull you in. Um, Gigi Zambato is kind of more of our main protagonist, though. And uh, I, I wasn't really too enthused about her initially, but... I was, I was a little pleasantly surprised and proven wrong. You know, she kind of has a decent, you know, spunk to her. Um, so I didn't mind her. And of course, Vernon Wells, you know, he has a key, I'll say a key role in the movie. You know, a, a smaller one, but a key one nonetheless. And, uh, you know, of course, he's done things like Commando and how, however much other genre work. Um, you know, so everyone does a decent job. And like I said, the, it gets pretty brutal. And some of those practical effects are actually pretty damn good. And it gets tense, and maybe some of that tenseness I felt was just because I'm a big fan of Stephen Dorff, and I don't like, you know, seeing shit happen to him, so I was, like, constantly on edge. <laughs> um, but don't worry, you know, both Emil Hirsch and Stephen Dorff have good roles in the movie, you know, without spoiling who lives and dies. Um, so it doesn't feel like a cheat if you're just watching for one of them. Um, but either way, I think it's a, it's a decent, you know, little crime thriller horror flick. Um, I do think it's worth checking out. Add some uneasiness to it and sort of an idea that makes your stomach churn a bit. Uh, so yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Decent characters really too.